Blake's Nom, our Pioneer winner. How are you feeling? Feeling great. Back on one of my favorite decks. What decks did you play? Bring to Light Omnath, back to the 60 card version. I realized that everybody was trying to run 80 cards, they were trying to run beans. It's all wrong, it's all bad. The original version was perfect, and I went back to it and I love it. It's been winning games nonstop. Awesome. Do you think it's just good in Pioneer, or is it good in the other formats as well? In Modern, a lot of people are trying to bring to light right now, and I think that it's definitely a viable strategy. But in Pioneer is where the deck really shines, just because uh, Valky is a lot better of a card in Pioneer than it is in Modern. That makes a lot of sense to me. Do you think that the deck stands up to kind of the, what have become the Pillars or the Titans of Pioneer when it's like the Mono Green Devotion deck or the Red Black Midrange deck? I think it's an underrated deck that should definitely be higher up in tiers than it is right now. I think a lot of people that play Four Color shift to uh, Fires of Invention. Well, and while I love that deck, I play it a lot. I think Bring to Light actually has an edge on that deck just because it has more versatility in what it can do. And it's not limited by, by Fires when you have to cast spells on the opponent's turn. So I think that if enough people realize that this is an alternative good strategy to fires, this deck should be up in like higher tier two, maybe even close to tier one. Okay. And what made you decide to play it tonight? Um, so I was playing this deck for a very long time. I was going back and forth between this and fires. And when I got on this deck, I tried doing all the new stuff with the Beanstalk. I tried making an 80 card version of it. And I played it for a while and it did okay. It, I wasn't losing, but I wasn't winning like I am today. Uh, and then I realized that all these cards that people were putting into it were just making the deck less um, consistent, and they were just drawing the cards that they wanted to see in the beginning anyway. So they were just diluting the deck. So I went back to it just to see what would happen if I just went with the original version, and it just feels a lot better, a lot smoother, and a lot more consistent. So I think it's definitely better than playing all the Beanstalk components to it. Well, it's awesome to hear, and I'm glad to hear that you're kind of still brewing in a pioneer format that we've had going for a while and able to achieve success. So congrats on your win tonight. Thank, Thank you so much for the interview. Thank you.